Good afternoon, folks. Had a very, very late start. I'm kind of on a little low moment this morning, but we'll talk about that later. Let's get the day started. All right, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So, um, my, my little low moment was because I missed the, um, my, acting up today um well i was feeling kind of low because i missed my the very first day of walking my daughter into um kindergarten i kept saying it was pre-k it was actually kindergarten i'm sorry um it's all at the same school so yeah i feel kind of bad about that um but i am picking her up today gonna get some ice cream and we're gonna talk about everything that happened today but in the meantime I am heading to the church to work on a couple of projects like I said yesterday um, I it's kind of interesting how everything worked out I had a church contact me and they watch um, pro church um, tools tips um, with Brady Shear which I like his stuff too and they pretty much want me to build a website based off of a recent email that I literally just got this morning, but the anatomy of a church website. So what I'm gonna be doing is, the good thing is they didn't really give me anything except for their logo, they just want a mock-up. I'm gonna build out a website, a WordPress website, based on their suggestions. And I was gonna do it anyway, but then I had this one church that wants me to do it for them, so. I will be building this for them. So once I get to church, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Walk you through the whole process and I need to catch back up with my barber client. And I built his website last night with a free theme that came out from Invatu for this month. Um, I wanna see what he thinks about that. If not, I'm gonna go and purchase the other theme, but that theme works. So I'm gonna give him a call, see what he thinks about that, and then we go from there. So I got about two, three websites on my plate for today. And actually, I really have more than that. I need to call New Jerusalem and schedule some time with the pastor to get the rest of the information so I can finish filling out their site. So that's what I got going on today. So let's get it going. So I'm almost at my church and I just got a text message. And um, this is one of those type of messages when you um, work really hard and a lot of people, let's just be real, you, you when you do stuff and you're trying to do new stuff, you have way more people who are telling you that you can't do it, why it's not gonna work, and everything under the sun on why it won't work compared to the people who are gonna be encouraging you. And that's kind of like what I want the focus of my channel to be is to encourage everybody to keep moving on, try new things, grow and things like that. But anyway, I just got a message from a lady at the church that was forwarded to another lady who is the mother of one of the kids who was in um, the media ministry and who was at the church who just left to go to his first year in school. And literally they were saying, and I'm gonna um, take a screenshot of the text message so you can see it. Um, but pretty much it was saying that he's in school and instead of being like how some of us were when we were in college and they didn't wanna have nothing to do with God or nothing like that, that he's watching the live stream while he's at school. Like that might not mean a lot to a lot of people, but I mean, that that gets me. And then it was just like, you know, thank you for all that you're doing with the media ministry and stuff like that. And just to think that two years ago, I was getting ran down for even trying to do something like this. But we now we have other kids who understand the importance and 
they have the wherewithal to even try to go to our website, go to Facebook and watch the live stream. You know, that that means that means a lot. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. So I'm about five minutes away from the church. So let me <laughs> head up here. So right when I was trying to make a website, they're doing maintenance. So uh, I can't log in and make another website. So I'm going to have to do that when I get home. Sorry, folks. Okay, my plans kind of got messed up a little bit while I was wanting to do the website because they're doing maintenance for Bluehost for any new sites. So I can't make any new sites. I can always go to existing ones, but I don't want to change that. So um, when I get home, I might use Instant WP and still try and set the same thing up, which will work. But what I have here, which I completely forgot about, is this year, well, next year's budget for the ministry. So I'm going to walk y'all through, not to put our financial information out there, but I just want to walk through what I know that we need from a media ministry just to kind of give you a hint for all those who might think that like we got hundreds of thousands of dollars and stuff like that. I'm just going to walk you through what I know that we need and maybe I can get something out of that. All right, so let's go ahead and bring up the document because it looks like Bluehost has finished their maintenance. So I should be able to go ahead and make a site now. So let's come over here. Right gears of war. Open up a new browser here. And let's go to Pro Church Tools first. All right, so we have um, First thing is talking about the placement of the logo. So let's go ahead and I can close this. Why is everybody sending messages now? All right, so we're gonna come in here and let me, let's go to Bluehost and I'm gonna make a mock site for this. And I'm gonna make a, just a sample site and I'll just do uh, a church tools sites. I'll just call it something generic. It doesn't really mean need to be anything super serious. Compare it. All right, so a prominent logo. So the main thing with getting a prominent logo, that's gonna be dependent on your theme. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a theme that will match that. Now I am gonna go the entire free route with this. So let's go ahead into WordPress and let's go ahead and find ourselves a theme. Church. All right, so I don't know why when you do a search for church, it gives all this random stuff. So worst case scenario, I may just bring my own now. All right, so so far this one works or this would normally go with theme. I mean, you can replace this with a theme. This can go in the middle here. So let's go ahead and go with this one. Let's see, <laughs> that was kind of cool. My cup is green, so it looks like it's invisible. So that's really cool. So let me see. Oh, my stuff is cut off there. So let's see if we can look at the time. Look at that, look at the time. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install this one. Now let's cut back over here and see what else. So the theme logo, all right, that goes from here. Now step number two, our navigation. It says, try to make sure uh, after the logo, the menus on your website will draw attention. Limit your top level to seven items or less. Okay. So if we go back to this theme that we installed here. 
let's go ahead and activate it. And now let's look at how it's designed and see what else we can change with that. All right, so let's go to customize and we wanna see can we change that logo at the top. So the header image, uh, we wanna look for, all right, so we can have a logo. So I need to find a generic um, church logo. And now let's drag this and this will be our logo. But it's too big to fit. But let's resize it and let's just see if it'll work. Maybe it'll crop it down for us. All right, that works. Now again, please don't judge. Again, we're just throwing this together to try and find some stuff that match what they recommend. All right, so we need a menu of at least seven items. Now, did they give you some suggestions of what those items should be? Great copywriter always focuses on the potential new visitor, not the church. Okay, so what do they have here as an example? Groups, events, message, prayer, about us, give more. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our menu. Let's go ahead and publish this. And normally what I would do is with this logo, I would have the church's name in it if it doesn't already. All right, so now let's go to our menus. And I'm just gonna go with some stuff that I would recommend on me making a menu. So first I'm gonna call this our main menu give it a name and what items are we gonna do let me go to customize and let me see if I can make it there all right we have main menu and we're gonna add obviously our home page even though clicking on the logo will do that and we're gonna add pages so we're gonna do um, about us make that as a new page um, new here we want to do media of course because that's what we focus on um, media will have other things under it and actually let me take that back let's do a custom link for that one and we'll just call that hashtag and then we'll call that media Let's get rid of this one. And then that way, this will be a sub menu. So we'll have other items to go with that. So under here, we'll make a page that says um, sermons. Um, or, or gallery. Let's do gallery. That'll make it easier. We'll just move those under here. Let's do it in alphabetical order. Um, we also want to make a page um, watch so we got one two three four five and we're gonna say give on give prayer and contact us so let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So, what we want to do? What about us? Actually, I don't think we need to have home. So let's get rid of home, and we're at seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So I think we're good. And this placement is going to be our primary menu. Let's see what top menu on this theme does. Okay, so again, themes are specific. They change, so they're not always the same, and this is just the one that we picked. All right, so let's go ahead and publish that. Let's go to the next item. Um, church headline. 
So that's going to be the dominant type of thing here. Um, we want something that we, I'm just going to I'm just going to steal what they're using right now just for this example. All right. Well, first we need to go back and we need to change our stuff to match um, customize this whole thing. So let me go here to our widgets and that's all this stuff here. Let's turn all this stuff off. Alright, so now that's all off. Footer, we'll come back to that. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, we have our home page. It's going to be a static page. And we're going to make a new page with this one. So we'll just call this front page. And then we can start designing and all this other stuff. Now, I didn't do this. I'm going to make another page under everything. Um, and this is going to be... Uh, I should have made another one for news. So I'm going to make another page, but it's still the menu is only going to need to have seven items where we can have multiple other things. So I'm going to do um, news here. All right, and then we're going to go to our options, banner news. So I could have put something here, um, recent news or hide. So we can split that in categories. Right. That's a plus feature. Um, I guess I could have pulled down some demo information, but I mean, we're fine. All right, so let's go ahead and publish that. Now we need, this one looks like it has an image here at the top so if we go back to what they're recommending is that you have kind of like a call out a safe place to worship i mean to explore your faith and then welcome to hope city church five times more people will read the headline of a website than read the body all right so that just means that we need to have that call out and then we need to have a call to action as well um now, based on how this is, this is more of a magazine. So these are articles. So on this thing, it's posts. So it's not a static image. Like for example, let me go to my church's website and let's actually rate mine compared to this one. Um, so I don't have a call out. Our logo is prominent. It's not in the center. Um, we have a welcome message. These are our events going on. So I could, what I could do is actually change the welcome into more of a call out. That's what I can do. Um, we have our breakdowns of our stuff here. Some of our images are not loading for some reason. Then we have our events and our sermons. That's what we have. And then we have our announcements. So this is our page. So a lot of this I can come back and revisit as well. So again, it's looking like based off of what they're suggesting, our, our theme that we picked doesn't really match that well. So let's go back and let's look at some other themes as well. Because we, we already got our menu already made. We have our image for our logo. Now we just need to have a better theme so we can have like a, not necessarily a, a slider because I think they have an article where they are against sliders. But let's just see if we can find something else that we can repurpose for this. So just off the top, I like this. And see, I'm, I'm different. I understand, well actually, hold on, let me save that point. See, I don't like all the extra stuff, but this may work. It's kind of different. So 
So let's go ahead and install that, but we'll come back to it. We wanna mainly see what we can match there. So in this one, the theme seems like we can work, but never look at the preview. A lot of times, a lot of times the preview does not match what you can actually do. So like if I activate this, and it's gonna take over our main theme. Now we're gonna do some customizations on this to see if this one will work better to match. All right, so we have one, two, three, up. Okay, we need to get rid of that menu. So homepage settings. All right, we got that, that's the same. These are the slider settings. Now, I know they say that they don't like sliders, but what you can do is just have one image that would have that display message on here. So that's what I want to do with this, but I need to make a page to do that. So let's go back here. Um, let's select our logo again, and let's see how this shows. See, I would need to change this color. It doesn't show up the way I would like it to. So most likely what I would need to do is I need to see, do they change where you can place that image? Um, it doesn't look like it will let me move these. All right, so it says it has to be prominent. I don't think it necessarily says it has, means it has to be in the exact middle. So I'm gonna take a little leeway with that one and let me go ahead and change this image so that um, it can actually be seen a lot easier. So let me do a little Photoshopping here real quick. Quick blend. We're gonna do a color overlay. Make it white. Real simple. But what I'm gonna do is let's see what's the size of this. All right, that's five twelve. All right, so let's select that. Let's make a new image. We're gonna do five twelve by. Let's double it. Nah, let's do, yeah, let's double it, sorry, 1024. Oh, wait a minute, get it wrong, wrong numbers. With this 1024. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's scoot this on over here. Our blending. So, y'all are getting a lot more than what we're talking about. Uh, and what do we say we're going to call this? And again, I'm just making this. So obviously this is not gonna be, <clears throat> excuse me, an exact idea of what this um, theme would be. Uh, I need something to stand out here. I don't wanna get too bogged down with this stuff. Just make a little bar 
me here. Again, not the size I wanted to, but it does have the name. Just, just work with me. This is like the standout image. Um, all right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we got that. Let's check out our widgets. Let's get rid of those because we don't need those. So we gotta come back to that. <laughs> Stop getting too much in details. All right, so we got our logo, we got our menu, and we have our prominent statement. So let's go to our favorite site, Pixels, and we're just gonna do um, happy people because they always they also said a smiling face does that as well. So let's do this one, this one. download this one and now since we got this we're gonna make a header with a call out image and I'm just gonna just use the same wording that they say just to make it easy I'm not trying to be super creative with this so we're gonna make a new page and this is just gonna be what do they call it on here headline mm -hmm. Our featured image is going to be the one that we just did. Now I'm just going to test this because I want to see how this shows up first. So let's just publish this. All right now let's go back to customizing our page. So this is going to be our slider. And we're going to hit on check the show perfect perfect all right so what we would need to do is come in and change the headline to what our tag is all right so that's actually going to be the name of the page or maybe if we put something on the page that would work too now what we could do as well with this is even though we have this logo we can put embed this logo again on this page and this would work but I like how that turns out really like how that turns out um, and then you have another menu here which we don't need that's the footer all right so we have our logo twice so that's cool that's cool um, now let's go back to that page the headliner page and I like the font that this theme has with it so let's go back to our pages 
Let's go to the sort by the date. Headliner. And what do they say on theirs? A safe place to explore your faith. See how that shows up. Okay. So I like how that headliner name is. So if anything, what I would do is just put the text here instead, because I like that font, and it makes it jump out based off of what they suggest. So let's refresh it. Very nice, very nice. All right, I think we're good so far based off of what, now I would really like that image to be bigger, but like I said, um, that's the other thing we're gonna try. Let's see, can we embed this image and see what happens? Center, let's update. But the image does not show. Alright, so it won't work for this. This would have to be one of those things where I would have to take the, this image and embed that in um, in there. I mean, but it's such a pretty picture of her and her smiling. I wouldn't want to put the church logo right over top of her head. So. I think that's good. All right, so we had our headline. Um, a call to action. Uh, when visitors land on your website, what is it you want them to actually do? A call to action is a button that identifies the key action you want users to take. Um, call to action on the website identifies now what are they actually saying I'm new here get started okay let's do that I'm new here get started let's try and make something like that and we already have I'm new here so this is just gonna link right back here so what I would do is change this to be the call to action and let's see how else we can do that so let's go to customize that first and now let's go to customize first section so we can make a call to action here let's see how this shows up though all right so our call to action would be right here all right, all right. so All right, cool. So we just need to make another page called Call to Action. And then, well, with that point. So that would actually be, I'm new here. We already have a page. All right. So what we would do here, I need to see how we can change it instead of saying read more. Um, or something like you know maybe read more is fine um so let me see um let me just do this if i can make me some generic text here this needs something to fill out the page right So we're going to go back to customize and our first section is our call to action which is new here. Check so you can actually see it. Um, and what, how exactly do they have it? Are you just visiting or 
YouTube Hope. Okay, so let's see if we can put more of the description there. So I need to see if there are a way to customize how that is because it's taking the top line from what we typed. So we just need to make it more descriptive and it should match what they're recommending. Just visiting or new to hope. Alright. So I'm just gonna say are you oh. <laughs> the bomb is coming up. Are you just visiting or are you new to Pro Church? I should just use prototype church. That's what I normally use. When I do stuff like that, which I think I will do that pro type church. All right, what else they say? This is a great place to begin the journey. This is a great place to begin your journey so since that's the first line let's call this I'm new here all right now we could probably put a picture in here and I shouldn't have closed that closed here they always say smiling faces do it so let's go with this picture That's different. I'm gonna use that. Alright. So we got a couple pictures to pick from. I'll just go with my first one here. And let's add that as an image and let's see how that works in this page. I want to see how it shows up because I've never worked with this theme before. This was just kind of like I'm just grabbing this and just seeing what it does. All right, and let me come over here and change all this stuff as well, too. Go to that church. That still matches pro church, prototype church. All right. So let's save that. And we're going to go here to customize. Let's update this. Yes! I like that. See? That picture pops out. That's kind of a call to action. I'm sure we can come in here and change these buttons. I want to see how that background is. But. I like that. That stands out um, here. So we're, we're doing good. I think we're doing good. There's our call to action. And then, and then search. Uh, the fifth element of a church website is this formula is a search box. And that's fine. I mean, you can turn, we can turn that on. Here, so let's see. And that actually can be a widget or um, something else. So let me clear all of these first. And let's test this out first. Alright, and some some widgets, I mean some themes, 
if you have no widget, it actually just puts stuff there. So I just put a text bump with nothing and it got rid of everything. So um, that's cool. I need to make a search. So let's see, does it already have that feature built in or is that something we gotta add? Um, about theme, let's look at this. So this is the free one, but let's see. Alright, so the pro one you can actually change colors, but I don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's go back to customize and let's see. So it's not fair. Slider settings, no. Top. Yeah, so we can put our information there if you want to. So. Yeah, that's not a part of what they say, but I think you should have something. Mm -hmm. um, section 2. You can always call this something else. Social media links. Um, so it doesn't look like this one actually has a way to do searches. Um, I could always add a search. I just don't know where that's gonna show up at. Okay, it's right there. I don't like it being right there. That's just me. But um, oh no, it's there. Um, I would probably want to put it in the bottom if I have a choice. Let's make a new menu. Um, I want to get rid of all this. We want to stick to seven items. That's what they recommended. So from here, what I would include is news, give, watch, sermons, and contact us in prayer. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that gets rid of all that stuff in the bottom. All right, so I don't, we're having one problem. Search is not coming up the way I would like it to be, but we have a search. So, um, inspirational image or video. I think we kind of did that with the stuff that we got. I mean, again, this is grabbing whatever picture that you want. Um, new visitor information, which is our call to action. So we kind of killed two birds with one stone. See, they're recommending I'm new. Which I need to do on my church's website. Um, church website main content. Um, your goal should be that when a visitor lands on your page, the content answers all their their needs, encouraging their next action. All right. So primary goal is uh, uh, example service times, location, directions, contact information. Yay! That's what we added at the top. Um, phone, email, physical address, sermons, messages, giving about us, beliefs, staff, prayer requests, calendar podcast videos, um, kids ministry, student ministry, event registration, all this other stuff. Cool. Because, I mean, I we didn't do that whole thing, but we got that lined up for that. Okay. Uh, part 9, contact information. This is what we just added at the top. I don't have an email address, but, I mean, it could easily be added. So, and then social media links. So, I, I think this theme is actually coming out pretty good with that so I mean we could always go here and just be like um, facebook.com slash AJ and again if you look at any of my um, stuff about digitizing your church and developing your um, 
digital footprint, you would have this stuff anyway, because even if you don't use it, it's good to secure your name. And I did this with my personal brand as well too. Google Plus is no longer a thing. We don't need to worry about that. Instagram. Because I mean, shoot, like even today, I signed up to TikTok under my name to secure my name. Um, I don't have a LinkedIn account under my um, my handle. I have my professional one. Um, but I mean, I think this is fine. Do you get the gist? Because now here are our social media icons here at the bottom. So that's cool. I really wish there was another way to add more stuff, but you know, now if, let's go back to what they're talking about, our main content here. All of this stuff, I can make into separate new pages that are not listed, or they could be subcategories under our main uh, seven topics that they talked about, but that can be listed here. So for example, I can come in here and do gallery, um, probably want to put some pictures or something like that with this. Uh, well, let's do about us uh, gallery. Give me, and I will probably want to do another page saying ministries or something like that. Um, instead of gallery, let me do sermons. And I would, I would have another one to say ministries or something like that. All right, and uh, what I'm gonna do is add some pictures to that. Maybe it will show up a little bit different and I'm gonna make another ministries page here. We actually know about us, but when, uh, listen to how they were saying it. So um, let's do prayer as well too. All right. Right. This is this is going good. This is going real good. All right, so let's go ahead and just add some images and stuff like that to our pages. Let me see if I can use some of these other pictures that I already have. I use that for ministries. Use that up for about us actually. And at the same time, this is kind of showing you how to use WordPress. Well, I mean, it, it can get complicated depending on if you have a very complex theme, but for the most part, it works the same way once you get an understanding of it. All right, so I did that. So let's see, did it change anything? All right, the added picture is kind of small. I don't necessarily like that, but I mean, you can choose to not include the image. I mean, because it takes you to a link there, which is not actually being used, and the search shows at the top here. Um, we got our contact information and all that other stuff. Now, again, this is a free thing. The, the pro version, which I would recommend if you're buying, um, going with this, doing a WordPress theme, do the find the thing that you like and then most likely it's a paid one you pay for that one and then you should be able to customize all this other stuff because it said under the pro one you actually could do all this stuff so all right so by there i really really like how this has turned out again this cafe coffee thing i can't change the backgrounds in there that part i don't like i should be able to do that but background. Okay, I'm picking up an image here. Let's do uh let's just look at background. <laughs> let's see. Okay, hey, use that. I just want to get away from the coffee thing just to see how that will work.
anyway i think you get the gist of what is <laughs> i can't change this i think that's part of the the free version of whatever but don't don't even worry about that so based off of what they're saying this is in line with what they're talking about now the logo is not in the center of the page but it is close to what they were talking about i believe and let's see was there anything else we left out this is our main content that we will be adding our theme only allows us to do four um, but contact information social media links we got is it mobile ready so let me see I'm gonna activate this and then I'm gonna bring it up on my phone so I can see what it looks like let me get the address here and I'll show you here in a second All right, so from here, <laughs> I think my coloring is kind of knocking it all out. But let me see if I can change this. It should be responsive and change once I change the size of the screen. All right, so I mean, I think, you know, it's not exactly perfect, but again, I think that's because of how I'm on it. Let me get my iPad. So I don't think it's bad. Shows up kind of pretty good. Um, I think similarly, I think maybe it's just my phone. It's just smaller in comparison, but it does, it is responsive, changes based on the platform that it's on, which I think is cool. So to just all of a sudden just grab a page <laughs> <laughs> grab a theme and try and go along with um, trying to build a site based off of uh, the recommendations that Pro Church Tools has. I think this was a success. So um, anyway, I was going to do my church budget, but it actually is late right now. Time kind of got away from me. I um, was playing with my daughter and some other stuff like that. And then I also wasn't feeling kind of good. So I laid down and took a nap, um, get my head straight. But anyway, it's around like 11.50 right now. So what I'm going to do is continue the budget because I need to turn the budget stuff in anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this up for um, the church that asked me to to just see an example of it. And we'll go from there. But anyway, I hope you like this type of content. If you do, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry as well as... <laughs> coming up with a video every single day um, because y'all asked for it and I'm here to deliver that so um, look out for some other videos that we got um, I'm gonna be building out another website as well as I need to actually update my own um, my formation sports one for pretty much 
content delivery video only type stuff so i'll take y'all along with me with that as well as going to see what else we get into at church tomorrow because that's where I'm pretty much going to be working. So I need to pack up all this stuff and get ready to take it with me when I take my daughter to school tomorrow. And I'm sorry, I misspoke. She actually started kindergarten, not pre-K. So um, <laughs> it kept saying, they kept saying it was um, PK and I was thinking it was pre-K, but it was actually private kindergarten. So Anyway, I'm going to be dropping her off for day number two. Looking forward to that. And then I'm just going to be working from the church the rest of the day there. So we will see y'all tomorrow. Later. Later.